Hello guys, welcome to Phaser. This is Tricolor Tutoy and this is another Halo Reach um, gameplay. This episode I'm going to be playing the score attack by myself. Just on Grunt Apocalypse if I can get in there. And the topic of today is going to be pretty much maybe a boring topic for you guys. But hopefully it will keep you entertained and kind of interested. Which is how I started off YouTube and I've got up to this uh, position. Not that it's a great position, I'm not saying like I've got I haven't even got a hundred thousand views yet or anything like that. It's just um how I've got here so far. And like I said it's mostly about me so I'm sorry if I bore you. But some people have asked for it on my personal channel, so this is it. On Phaser. Um this is a live commentary so if I'm a bit um a kind of Stop talking a little bit because I'm getting shot at like hell. I'm really sorry, but I'll try and keep it on topic. Right. Um, I first started YouTube. Like, yeah, I might be able to back this up if you go and check out my channel after this video. I first started YouTube using my phone. My phone is a really bad. Um, if you want to look it up, Sans Samsung D900i. At the time, it was good, but now that I look at it, it was pretty crap. All my videos were 240. I used to make ones where I got kind of like infected with these mods where I could run really fast on MW2. I used to record my TV with my phone. I had a bad TV at the time so that was even worse. Usually I didn't know how to work my phone so it was like tilted. So we had to tilt the head to watch the videos. It was pretty bad. And then I made a, a GTA video again with my phone. That time it was a bit better because I had a friend holding the phone and me commentating and playing the game. And that was my first kind of proper video and so far that's got about 16,000 videos that's my most successful video at the moment and it was one of the ones where I thought wow this is not going to do well at all but that's that and that's got me obviously 16,000 views and it's got me quite far on YouTube and then I started making my first, first let's play I'm not um I wouldn't call myself a nerd I wouldn't call myself a Star Trek fan about like that it's just um a game that I had lying around somehow but a game called Star Trek Elite Force I started playing that and well I've had that since I was very young and it was one of my most memorable games probably one of my favourite games for the computer so I thought I'd get that out make me first ever let's play that went pretty well um, my videos were the only uh, type of Star Trek Elite Force videos on, the, on YouTube at the time so I got some good feedback and then I made a, another kind of little series of um, Star Trek Elite Force called Virtual Voyager and that is a little mode that you can get in the expansion pack and because not many people had the expansion pack and or made videos about it I got pretty few views on that as well and then I went on to tutorials like you know really crappy tutorials where I could like say how to make this do this on Vista how to like a tour around those sideboard things on the right hand side on Vista where you can get or Windows 7 really stupid things and then I started making tutorials about how to mod on Minecraft how to use uh, these programs which got a kind of good feedback again and then I'm trying to go through my memories here I'm trying, I can't really remember that well and then I went on to <coughs> doing I don't know what came first, Star Trek Elite Force 2, let's play it, or a Jack and Dexter, the Precursor Legacy soundtrack. Both of them did well anyway, regardless of what came first. And after that I went on to, I think it was Crash Bandicoot, let, um, no, not let's play, soundtrack. And I was, at that time I was very limited, I was going to say pretty limited, but I was very limited to the computer simply because I didn't have a graphics card at that time we're talking one or two years ago here though so I was playing all those games you know just going through all my radio games and then I made my first proper let's play with commentary because my Star Trek Elite Force videos never had any commentary the only commentary I'd ever done is my tutorials so I was really nervous and the game that started me off was um, Castle Wolfenstein for the computer which is an uh, amazing game I'm glad that started me off so I got that um, whole campaign done really fun took ages it's not one of the games where you could 
if I call duty and be like, you know, 20 episodes long. Uh, I forgot, I forget how many episodes this was. But, um, I think I used to do one mission per episode. So, some, some episodes were like 40 minutes long, so I really tried hard with them ones. They got some good feedback, because, uh, they were good. And, oh, I'm trying to remember now. How about while I'm playing, because this is live, like I said, I'm going to go on my YouTube account. I'm just going to keep running around in circles. So gameplay doesn't really matter. This is, I hope you're here for the commentary just to learn about, you know, stuff like this. Right, let's have a look. Right back. I'm still going back. There we are. Right. Return to Castle Wolfenstein. Oh, and be just before the Return to Castle Wolfenstein videos, I did a lot of like little Star Trek video, Star Trek League Force videos, on like you know minute long videos about all these crazy stuff and glitches and you know stuff that you never thought of thinking about in the real game. And I got some good, some uh, some good views because um they were unique really. No one had ever thought of doing it, so that was a good opportunity for me. And after the Star Trek, no, after the Return of Castle Wolfenstein, that's when I did the Crash Bandicoot let, um, soundtrack. I keep trying to say Let's Play, but it was a soundtrack. And give me a second. Then the time came where I was doing some more Star Trek Elite Force One. Because you have to bear in mind, this is probably my favorite computer game. Um, but this time I learned how to get mods and, you know, custom maps, which was amazing for me, because when I was five year old playing this, um, I couldn't imagine doing anything like that, and I played, I think it was only two, unfortunately, maps, because there was only two decent ones, and I was in the middle of playing the third, and then something happened, and I never got round to finishing that episode, so just recently I uploaded that to my channel, and that got some good views, but I've, um, noted that it wasn't finished and it cut off um, quite a bit through and I was I never got the actual custom map finished at all really because I stopped when I stopped commentating but yeah after that plus the last time I did um, a custom map for Elite Force that was on the what was it the 24th of December now that that's pretty amazing because I, I, love, I love Christmas and 24th of December is Christmas Eve so I can remember it was awesome really um so christmas eve uploaded that and then i forgot as well this went back a little bit as well um on the same day christmas eve i uploaded my first minecraft let's play actually no i've forgotten out i forgot a big part um i think it was after my i can't remember if it was before or after my return to castle Wolfenstein. I did a Minecraft Let's Play, but it was really basic. I actually deleted all the videos because they were pretty crap. So they're not there anymore, but I did one of them. And then I started a new one called the Chew Toy Project, which is pretty stupid. But um, I did that. That was uh, the first episode of that was uploaded on the, the Christmas Eve. <laughs> Excuse me. And... Obviously Christmas Eve, you're getting close to Christmas Day. This is on the night, and then the time came. Christmas came, and HDPVR was unwrapped, and I was I was really surprised, really, because um, I saw a box on the floor. You know, I I didn't even ask for the PVR. I said, um, it doesn't matter, Dad and Mom, but um. Get as a Roxio, you know, one of the sixty pounds ones. If if uh, if you like, but I won't be bothered if you don't. So they went out and got me a HD PVR, and I knew how good a HD PVR was. At, at like at that time when I got it, and still are really. And from not asking for one, to getting one, I was really surprised really, because um, you know, it just means I can do this a lot more, and then. I did a lot of tests on the 27th, you know, uh, the first uh, PHCP video I uploaded was Modern Warfare 2 Bailout Team Deathmatch, and you can go and check that out on my channel if you want, and then I did some tests 
on HD rendering and stuff like that. Get it working. And now, and during the Christmas time, I got Dead Island and stuff like that. So I was doing Dead Island Let's Plays. I was doing Deus Ex Let's Plays. I was doing Modern Warfare 2 games. Uh, my first montage, so more of that two type project. And, you know, it just went on and on. Halo Reach video started coming. And, yeah, from then on, it's just been HAPBR, a lot of it. And Alien vs Predator uh, commentaries came. And they got some really good feedback. Um, I think it got about. I don't know actually, but. That's uh, I did how many? At the time, I did three of them. All well, two of them were 16 minutes long, and one was 10 minutes long. Not that not that that matters, but if you know, if you play any vs Predator for the Xbox, you'd know that there's three teams: Marine, Alien, and Predator. That you can play as online. So I did a a one for each one, a, a multiplayer game that did well, and then I was done for. It. Uh, any vs Predator for a while, sorry about the pause. And then I went on to thinking, wow, all those games I've added Nazi zombies and I've never made a video, I should start making them. So I started making little videos of zombies. And let's just go on to the next page of uh, my videos so I can narrate this. Where's it at? We're nearing the end kind of thing now. I'm getting shot. Or right down. Right. So then I did a Halo Wars commentary, which um did quite well for me. Quite well doesn't mean twenty thousand views or stuff like that. I mean close to a thousand views is uh, good for me, pretty much. That's what I'm saying. <coughs> and when I'm doing all that, I recorded a bit of Total Miner that got a thousand and some views. Uh, more Hero Reach, more Minecraft, more uh, Hero Reach commentary, my first one, and that did well. Um, Skyrim Let's Play, and after you remember that thing I saw, talked about about GTA getting th 16,000 hits, um, I thought, wow, that's done that well. It's boosted my, that started my channel really, and I should kind of give it some respect and make a new one with the PVR. So I made a new one. Um, the 2012 upgrade, updated version, and that has currently got two and a half thousand views. So obviously those videos are doing pretty well for me. And <coughs> maybe I'll, I'll make another one when GTA 5 comes out. We'll just have to see. Then I made Derice all Easter eggs. Then I went on to how to make your computer run faster. That did pretty well. And then Call of Duty World at War commentary. Let's play Time Splitters 2. Which um, is a really good game for me when I was little. I really enjoyed that if any of you know what that game is. So I did a little one on that. Some more Halo Wars commentary. Um, Sniper Montage from Modern Warfare 3. Jack and Dexter the Precursor Legacy Let's Play. Didn't do so well so I stopped there uh, recording them. But it's still there if you want to go and check it out. Um, let me see. Another Any vs Predator. Didn't do as well as the last ones but still decent. Then I started making my new computer, so I put some reviews up on the computer parts I got. They got pretty good um, views and stuff. Um, then Minecraft came out for the Xbox 360. I'm going to try and keep these guys alive so I can talk. Um, so I made a lot of videos on Let's Plays for Xbox 360. Um, I got World at War for the computer, so I did custom zombie maps. Um, more reviews, Star Trek Elite Force mods, like, not maps this time, mods for weapons and stuff, Um still Modern Warfare 2, Halo 4 information, and then I started doing the Call of Duty series I do, Slender, I started doing a couple of Slender videos, and still going, Um Call of Duty 2 Black Ops uh, Zombies info, and then I'm currently doing Blacklight Retribution, which isn't doing so well, but it's just for to be up there. Some more how to's kind of stuff and news stuff like that, and that's about it, guys. I took you through a timeline of my channel. I hope you liked it. Um, 
from having 700 and some videos, you know, that's why it takes quite a while to try and get over how much I've been through. Um, but this is another story that only you guys know about. I had 700 videos, 700 and something videos, and recently I deleted 500 of them. So now I have 300 and videos ish. And the reason I deleted 700 is no, not the reason I deleted 500 is because I just noticed how bad some of them were doing. Because I never used to upload anything decent, really. I just used to uh, get some and put it on there. Nothing really planned, edited or anything like that. That's why I got no views. So I deleted some of them. And I'm starting to make some series like this one and stuff. Got myself the Phaser, which is a great clan. And, you know, I'm just starting to kick myself off again. So that's about it, guys. Um, I hope you go and check out my channel. And, you know, just like overlook some of the stuff I just said and see if you like it. And that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching this. Um, subscribe to Phaser. And if you wish, subscribe to me. So, anyway, I'll see you guys later.